Hi, this is a KJ4 FGI. Um, I have that. Uh, you saw my picture, my last uh, video, the one on the, um, the Go Box. Uh, that one basically uh, it had everything in it. It was for all communications. It had CB, VHF, UHF, HF, uh, 100 watt amp. Uh, because I used the KX3, so it had the KXP100. Um, but you know, now that the weather's getting uh, nice here in Florida, it's like 75 degrees out between 75 and 78. Uh, I like to go out and do some QRP work. Um, so to make everything a lot smaller, like I said, I did everything in Velcro uh, so that I could do these. I can swap radios around really fast. It doesn't take long. Um, of course, you saw the video on uh, my UHF VHF. These get set up really quickly. There you go. It's a light in case I need a light. All right, my UHF VHF station is all set, good to go. This is an SWR meter and a power meter. Um, you'll see that, uh, well you saw in my other video, it, it puts out, it does put out your 50 watts. There's no SWR flat when you mount it straight. This is a metal case now, it's not plastic. If you mount it to plastic, I don't know what it would turn out to be. But that's all set to go. But now as we're going in for QRP work, because uh, I, I really like to do HF. Um, as you can see, there's my uh, chameleon F loop. Uh, what I did to it was I added an extra section. You see the original loop, it's too small diameter. So to get another hard line, I had to buy a kit of two. Um, just to use three of them. And once you increase the loop, the efficiency is fantastic. The smaller loop that they have originally comes with, it's only good to maybe, all right, you, you can squeeze out 20 meters, but 40 meters, it's garbage. Uh, there's no gain on it, you know, 17 uh, meters, 12, whatever, 15, uh, the little loop was good for it. But this is really good. It's, this is uh, 36 inches in diameter now. I think his was 26 or 28. Also, what I did was I opened up the box and I shorted out the terminals in here so that I could experiment with different size loops because when you buy the Chameleon, they short out the cables. Now, I want to use my cables for extension cables for my radios and stuff like that. So what I did was I went in the box because I used to experiment with these for years, a couple of years anyway, I did a lot of experimenting. You short out the connector on the inside, um, not the cable. Sounds like me getting up in the morning. Okay. Let me see if I can keep this on. Now, that's, this is a Makita box. I had a Makita box. This is a, a Makita a drill motor. Battery operated drill motor. So I had that, and this would be perfect for me. I figured to, to figure something out to put it in for my KX3. You got your microphone, antenna cables. This goes to your computer. Like I said, everything's all Velcroed. Let me see if you can see this on the camera. Okay. Piano battery. It's a 12 volt, 20 amp hour battery. It lasts forever. I haven't charged it. I've had it for, uh, I don't know, maybe four or five months now. It just, it lasts.
still love power poles. I do, I really love them. I just have trouble with them sometimes. Old age coordination. Compass, always have a compass. You have a magnetic loop, you know which way you turn it, or putting up any type of an antenna. Take the, take the foam off the top. Stick over here. This is cable for your signal link. And here you go, your station's up and running. What you gotta do is now put up your computer. Now I swapped a computer with a guy to get this one. I'll show you in a minute. This is a Panasonic Toughbook. You can pick them up on eBay for 150 bucks. 100, I've seen them for 125 dollars, and they're great. Now, like, all you got to do is you take this cable, put it right in the back of the computer, and here, if I want to operate the KX3, like I said, everything was right inside. And if I want to go to single sideband, there's my mic. So basically, other than the antenna, everything is right there in that box. Is my signal link push to talk is uh, my amplifier because the compact the BHA uh, BHI inline it, it's made for headphones it's not made for a speaker um, my signal link UXB if I wanted to use it with my UHF VHF I put a, a holder in the back for chips like for testing chips pop it out and then I'll put in the one for the uh, UHF VHF radio and then I could swap it right over to that but everything is self-contained one two three puts it together here and uh, just that's just a quick idea to give you what you can do if you got an old Makita box kicking around I mean that's pretty nice all right uh, thanks for watching uh, I hope I didn't bore you KJ4 FGI I'm clear I just wanted to add to this video a little bit. Uh, sometimes I don't address the interest. Some people might want to know a little bit more. Why am I using a Panasonic uh, laptop instead of a regular one? Well, first, you know, these tough books, they're tough. No two ways about it. A little bit heavy, but they're tough. Everything is in rubber. So that you can drop it. It's supposedly you can drop it from five feet onto concrete and nothing's going to happen. Even the, uh, the monitor is uh, encased in rubber. But we have programs in the ham radio in, uh, field that you know that they, they, they'll work on XP, but they won't work on Windows 7. Well, and some people like to use Ubuntu. No, they like that also. Well, what's nice about the uh, Panasonic, this is a CF30, by the way. You can pick them up for, like I said, $120 on eBay. I got mine in a swap. There's my Windows 7. I could put in, this is my Windows XP, I could just slide the XP in, or Ubuntu, uh, Linux, I just got that, you could slide that in there. Also, no big problem to change the battery. Battery slides right on out. Slide the next battery in. This all locks down into place, and you're good to go. You can change the operating system, you can change the battery, really easy and you have your other ports that you want to use. Uh, that's why I, I, uh, I like this. The other thing was the signal link. I 
I'm gonna went over, over the video. Um, I didn't address, I wanted to show you something. Now these are all 16 pins, all of these chips. This is for my TMD7A UHF VHF. This is for my KX3 DHF. Um, what I did was, I took this apart. I made a hole in the back over here. I made sure that it wouldn't interfere with your, uh, your CAT cable connection right over here. Uh, there's 16 wires, it's a pain in the neck, of course, to solder. Uh, and that's why I'm not opening this up, because you know how tight it is here to begin with. I don't want to hassle with, with it. Take my word for it, you wire your 16 wires right up to your connector. Now, here I'm using my KX3. If I want to go and use my VHF radio, take my VHF radio chip, put it in. Now I don't have to take apart the box to keep changing these chips all the time. So it's one, two, three deal. Really good, really easy. A little time consuming when you first want to install this, but after that, it's a breeze. You don't have to buy two signal links. Uh, you could use just the one. Um, I will put a, I'll, I'll try to find the link for this uh, integrated circuit chip uh, quick release. And uh, I'll put it on there so that you can take a look at it. Uh, I'll also put, uh, let's see, what are we going to do here? We got that, we got that. I wanted to show you also, I said the light, but my hand was always in the way of the light on this radio. Well, this is a hinge that's off uh, one of those desk drawers that just pull out. You know, they got them two on the side. Or a kitchen cabinet. Slide it on out. Push button. Lights on. The lights are beautiful. Uh, you'll have plenty of light at night. Um, this actually hinge, uh, because you don't see any screws, it's held on with this 3M tape. This 3M tape is strong. They use this to hold in the windows and skyscrapers. A little pricey, but you know what? You just use a little bit and it's never going to come apart. And I didn't have to drill any holes. Uh, also, the uh, push button that you raise right here. The reason why I use a push button for that light is because if you use a toggle switch, uh, what usually happens, something knocks the toggle switch or whatever, and it snaps, and now you got to put a new toggle switch in. But a push button, you won't. You won't have to worry about it. Something's going to get in the way. Uh, nothing's going to snap that off. That's, that, that, that's perfect. Uh, and then, of course, like I said, everything is Velcro, and I like using everything Velcro, even a microphone, right? A little Velcro on the back, and there you go. You don't have to drill any holes. It helps keep the box waterproof. And that's it. All right, I do want to add that addition. I will put links to some of these parts on here where you can buy them uh, off of eBay. All right. Thanks, guys. Ciao.